Hi guys, welcome back to the Alex Mix from the next question. I just got a question. I got actually I got thorough questions asking about uh, passport requirements in the DCC. Remember, when we are talking about the travel, when we are talking about the travel in the DCC or any country in the world, remember, you need to have what you call a passport. We need to have a passport. A passport is a document that is, may be issued by the government of your country. It is a document that will specify or will just uh, the document that will describe the person that is a citizen of this country. And that is the document that will require you to travel from one country to another because it will contain all what you call all your biodata at that case. And that's what we call a passport. So for you to travel or for you to who is planning to travel to any country, it may be for Gulf country, it may be for Europe, it may be wherever you have to go and you're looking for a job. You must have what you call a passport. Unless to some extent, if your country has a, a waiver, a waiver with another country that you don't need a passport, that you can use what you call your ID. Like for example, when we have we look at the Gulf, the DCC uh, countries where they don't need a passport, they need to use their ID to travel in one way or the other. But however, something that you still need to know are the passports also have their regulations. Their passports should, one of the regulations of the passport, if you are going to travel, if you are going to work in these Gulf countries, if you are going to work in Qatar, if you are going to work to the UAE, if you are going to work in Bahrain, or you are going to work in Saudi Arabia, one of the regulations, that passport should be issued by your government. That is, it should be issued genuinely by your government. That's one regulation. Then something that you need to know, that passport should have a validity. And this is why the main concern comes in for people who have been asking the question. To some country, they, but some countries, if you are traveling to some country, they may say if you are coming to this country or if you are crossing to this country to another country, the validity of your passport should be three months. Its validity or its expiry date should be more than three months. That is what to some countries say. To some countries, they see, some countries may specify and say the validity of that passport should be more than one year. That is a requirement of that country you are planning to go to. That is part of the requirement. Then to some countries, they say the validity of that passport should be six months. That is the validity of the requirement. That is the requirement for that, part, for that country if you want to go in that country or if you want to get a visa in that country. So when we are looking at GCC, we are looking at GCC or we are looking at the Middle East or we are looking at coming to Qatar or coming to Saudi Arabia. Most of the passport requirements in these Gulf countries, are the validity should be six months. So make sure as you are planning to travel to these Gulf countries, the validity of your passport should have six months before it expires. Why are we saying like this or why do we have to say like this? Because for example, look at for people who come, uh, who come in these Gulf countries, you always have what you call a probation of six months. And that, under that probation, you will go for what you call medicals, what you call med the medical fitness test. And remember within that time, you will not yet get what you call your ID until you pass what you call the medical. And normally it will take a range between uh, one to six months until you get your ID. If it is fast enough, depending on what the system requires, you may get it a little bit uh, less than that. So meaning that your passport should have a validity of six months before it expires. That is the law. So for people who are planning to travel to the GCC, or you are planning to travel to Qatar, or you are planning to travel to Saudi Arabia, make sure Make sure that your passport has a validity of six months before it expires. Because remember, most of the probation periods in some of these Gulf countries is six months. So meaning that whatever will be done, the medicals and the rest will be done for you to get the ID, your passport will still be accepted as the authorities need it to be, or as part of the requirement. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. It's makes for the next creation. See you again in the next video.